I wanted to speak about coherence. The opportunity and the purpose of these relaxation, meditation, these moments together, this little pause we have together is that we're looking for coherence. At the moment, our world has so much that will bring incoherence. We get so much information. Perhaps there's lack of sleep going on, worry, not enough nutritious food, dehydration. All of these send these incoherent signals to your brain. And that creates this chemical reaction in the body where you get higher cortisol function. And that triggers a stress response in the body. By bringing coherence in, which is hydration, nutrition, moments of relaxation. When you're doing yoga, you'll go for a run. There's so many ways that you can bring in the coherence. What we're doing here is bringing everything into sync so that it becomes balanced. You've got your brain, your heart, your nervous system, and they're all starting to work together in this coherent model. And um, the Heart Math Institute in the States does huge amounts of research into this. It's incredible. And when we are in alignment and in coherence, and in fact, actually, when we're out of alignment and, and not in coherence, so incoherence, we're always sending out these electromagnetic signals to those around us. So you've gone out for a walk, you go into nature, there's this coherence that happens because you're in nature and there's a certain electromagnetic field. And so what we're looking to do is to bring yourself into a greater state of coherence. And that does affect what's going on around you and who is around you. Um, so I just wanted to bring that in to set a context. And today we're going to move into the joints a bit. We're going to bring a bit of love to the face, to the neck, the shoulders. We're going to bring in a little bit of breathing. And then I'm going to take you into uh, meta meditation, which is known as the loving kindness meditation. And that brings you into a lovely state of coherence with the heart. What I'll do is once we've done the movement together, I'll also take myself um, off the screen, but you'll be able to hear my voice so that you're not distracted. All right. So start with clasping your hands together and start to move your wrists around. You might hear cracking and popping. And then you can just start to play around with the movements, make sure you go both ways. And then shaking the hands out forwards, backwards, side to side. We're going to take our fingertips to the forehead. So pressing quite firmly here and pulling the forehead apart. So this, the prefrontal cortex, this frontal lobe of the brain that's been active all day, just soothing the forehead, but really this does have a calming effect on that front part of the brain. So you can go right over the ear. You can have your head slightly tilted down. So just a few finger strokes across the forehead, across the ear. Okay. So then moving on to your ears now, pulling the ears and just squeezing and massaging them opening up the Chinese, like with reflexology, when people massage your feet and also with the hands, there's these meridian points that run through your ears that represent all the bodies. So you could think about this little sort of mini self body massage, if you like. It really also does help with just bringing some more blood up to, up to the ears, but also around to the lymph, which gather around here. So helping to boost immunity. Okay, and then thumping here, you've got this thymus gland here, obviously my throat will, my voice will sound funny, but this is also said to boost your immunity. And if you want to make sound, you can do the kind of, oh, make the noises. Some of you aren't muted, so you will be live if you decide to do the sound. And I encourage you to make a bit of sound if you would like to. Uh... So this thymus tap you can do every day for a few thumps just to boost the immunity. Okay, be still for a moment and feel what's going on in your body. Notice any sensations, what's happening, whether your ears feel warm, how's your breath doing?
Okay. And then we're going to just open the shoulder up, move back a bit. You're going to depress the right shoulder. So you're going to drop it down. So you're really reaching down with that right hand. This one just stays relaxed. And you'll feel that in the shoulder and then you can add your neck. So you're going to take the head away from the shoulder that's depressed. And then start to move your head around, just see where your sweet spots are. Find one that's really good, that has a little bit of uh, tightness there and then just stay there and breathe. Okay, release. And just notice how that shoulder feels, that side of the neck. And then we'll just come over to the other side. So reaching that the fingertips down to the floor and then taking your head over to the other side. Again, just finding out where your area is. Needs a bit of attention. Keep the breath going. Okay, release coming back. Um, and then taking your arms out like this, with arms, this is sometimes what it's called, so squeezing the shoulder blades together and reaching elbows back, hands back. And then if it feels good to drop your head forward, you can do that. Have a look, see what's good for you. And just breathe into shoulders, the back. It's shaking out the hands. And you can shake the body out. It can be nice if you want to stand up and shake the body out, you can do that. Just add a little bit more movement in. Okay. So, that's 10 minutes in, how do you feel now? Just check in and tune in. This is called the three part breath. And we'll begin by putting our hands on our stomachs, our belly. And see if you can relax the belly. More often than not, we're holding ourselves up. So to relax into the belly can just take a little bit of renegotiation with the mind. Well, oh, no, relax, let go. So just take a few moments to do that. Let the belly just fully relax, surrender. And if I'm closing my eyes, just gives me a bit more attention to go there. Okay, then as you breathe, Breathe into your belly. So as you're breathing into your belly, what you're looking for is the hands to move. So there's this, you're encouraging your belly to bloom, to, to blossom, to come nice and round. And then as you exhale, you start to pull the belly back towards the spine. So there's more of an active exhale. Inhaling into the belly. Exhaling, belly pulls back towards the spine. We'll just do that for a few more moments of time. So with each inhale, actively resting the belly, letting go of any muscular activity, but then engaging it on the exhale. Okay, lovely. Now moving your hands up to the rib cage. You can have your finger 
touching so your middle finger usually the middle finger is the longest depends how you're made but just to have the fingers that are longest touching in the middle but place your hands on your rib cage and so your attention now comes to the rib cage and you're looking to pull those fingers apart so you're breathing in and breathing out and you may not get a lot of movement there it's uh, usually quite an area where we don't tend to move that much. So just keep going with it. And slowly it'll start to open up. Slowly the movement of the breath, moving the rib cage in and out. And don't forget to go around to the back of the body. So what I mean by that is you're breathing fully into all of that area of the body. Slowly and surely the rib cage will open up and the little muscles in between each of the vertebrae will start to be more flexible. Okay. And then last but not least, we'll move up to our chest. So placing the hands just underneath the shoulder blade, the shoulder girdle, the collarbone. All right. And then just breathing into the hands there. See if you can keep your shoulders And then we're going to move through all three parts. So your hands can just rest lightly in your lap or alongside the body. So breathing in, breathing into the belly, ribs and chest. And then as you exhale, chest, rib, belly pulls back in. So inhale, filling yourself up in the three parts. And then as you exhale, releasing the air out. See if you can pull your belly back towards the spine just to get all the last bits of air out. And continue that, inhaling three parts, belly, ribs, chest. And exhaling, chest, ribs, belly. Okay. And then releasing all of them. All right. Seeing how you're doing, just checking in, noticing how the body feels. Your eyes gently closed if they're not already. And I will guide us into the loving kindness meditation. Getting comfortable. Eyes can be closed or open. And it's very simple. You just begin by offering yourself these words silently. May I be safe. May I be happy. 
May I be healthy. May I live at ease. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. I'll repeat it one more time. And then you can do it quietly with yourself for a moment. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. If you can just repeat that to yourself, allowing any thoughts or memories to come and go, any thoughts just to pass by. And this anchor is rather than your breath, which we use sometimes, it's really these traditional phrases, may I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I, li may I, may I live with ease. And now moving on to thinking of somebody, a benefactor, benefactor, somebody that's helped you, someone who's been kind and good to you, maybe somebody you've never met that's inspired you and picture them and say their name to yourself and get a feeling of them, just bring them to your presence, bring them to your mind. And as you do that, you'll be repeating, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. So as we move through this, even if the words don't feel like a total fit or slightly strange or awkward, don't worry about it. They're a vehicle for connection. So we're going to move on to calling someone to mind that you know is hurting or having a difficult time and bring them into your awareness. You can say their name if it's one person or if it's a wider thing, you can just bring that into your awareness. And once you've done that, you'll be repeating, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. And if you find your attention wandering, just gently let go and come back one phrase at a time. Okay, letting them go. And 
bring someone to mind now that you might encounter out and about. Maybe it's somebody you see when you've been on walks, somebody at the supermarket, the postman, someone you may not even know the name of. Maybe it's somebody you don't even know their story. So bring that person into your awareness. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Letting them go. And then we move to someone you have trouble getting along with, someone you find difficult, or maybe you've had an interaction recently. And if you find it too hard to do this for that person, then just go back to sending this loving kindness to yourself. So bringing them to mind or bringing yourself back to mind and choosing, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease, or turning it into the tense for yourself, may I be safe, and so on. And then finally, offering your well wishes, this force of loving kindness to all beings everywhere. Goodness knows we need it. All people, all creatures, all those in existence, known and unknown, near and far. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. And slowly just releasing all of that and coming back to yourself. You can rub your hands together to create some heat. And once you've got some nice heat going in the hands, just cup them over the eyes. Gently let your forehead rest in your hands. Slowly blink the eyes open, 
and just keep moving the hands around, keep them warm, just bring yourself back. Give yourself a squeeze. And shake the arms out, stamp your feet on the floor, whatever you need to do, just bring yourself back. Give yourself a nice long stretch. Mm. 